Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be turning liquid oil into solid body butter. This formula is super simple so let's jump right into the video. To turn our liquid oil into a creamy body butter, we need Lipid Thicks. Lipid Thicks is going to be our thickener for our oil. A water-based thickener will not work for this formula. You need an oil-soluble thickener in order to thicken up our liquid oils. Today I'm using fractionated coconut oil as my liquid oil, but I also wanted to test out uh, the virgin unrefined coconut oil. It has a different texture, it's solid at room temperature, um, but it is still an oil and I figured that most of you guys would have this in your home. So I wanted to test both of them to see if I would get similar outcomes. So let's make our super easy two ingredient DIY coconut body butter. Our first ingredient is lipid thicks. This is our oil thickener. You guys have seen me use it before in order to turn avocado oil into avocado butter. I will put the link up top. Lipid Thicks is basically hydrogenated vegetable oil. It helps to thicken oils, butters, bombs, and you can also use it in sugar scrubs for more texture. Moving on to our second ingredient, we're using fractionated coconut oil. For me, fractionated coconut oil is one of the most basic, lightweight oils out there, and I definitely wanted to test the lipid thicks up against this oil to see if it can refatten it and give it that body butter type texture that I'm looking for. Fractionated coconut oil only comes in the liquid form. It is refined, okay? Once you combine your lipid thick in your fractionated coconut oil go ahead and set it to the side for now now we're going to repeat the same process using the virgin coconut oil virgin coconut oil is unrefined it is uh, semi-solid in texture especially when you place it in the refrigerator or, or cooler temperatures if it's in warmer temperatures it will melt down to a liquid okay um, so it's not a butter it is definitely an oil i know some people who have whipped up their coconut oil and called it coconut butter but technically it is just oil okay um, it doesn't have that same type of texture like shea butter or cocoa butter most people use it as a substitute for nut butters and seed butters especially those who have allergies or uh, irritation to seed butters and nut butters Another difference between fractionated and virgin coconut oil is that virgin coconut oil smells very sweet and smells just like yummy coconut. You just want to eat it. So that's a great way to tell the difference between the two. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and move on. As you can see, initially the coconut fractionated coconut oil seems to be very liquidy, whereas the unrefined seems to be very creamy and thick. So I'm thinking this is going to be the one that's going to give me the body butter I'm looking for. So I'm really glad that I included it in this test. So let's go ahead and test that hypothesis. Anytime you have a question about something, it's really just the best thing to do is just go ahead and test it out. Okay. So I'm placing my containers in a water bath to heat them up safely, but I will heat this up pretty hot because the manufacturer suggests that you heat up the lipid thicks to at least 170 degrees Fahrenheit. It is very, very important. Um, even if it looks like it's completely melted, it could still not be, and that will call, cause your final product to have a lot of graininess. In my experience when making the avocado butter in the last video, I still got graininess no matter how long I heated it up, and I know at that point, I think I heated it up to over over 200 degrees. Um, so right now the fractionated coconut oil, which is on the left side, I heated it up to about 186. And then the unrefined took a little bit more to really, really melt it down. I kept seeing little fine little pieces in there. And so I heated that up to about 195 degrees. So um, just so you won't get confused, the fractionated is on the left, the unrefined is on the right. Um, the fractionated is a tad bit lighter. You can kind of tell if you see, if you look at it, okay? Um, so yeah, based off of that, I let these cool down and I was very shocked. <laughs> so the fractionated coconut oil was very, almost felt like uh, unrefined coconut oil when it's in the refrigerator it was very thick but the more I mixed it around it became creamier and I was like okay it's pretty creamy but it did seem a little grainy to me so um but I was still very impressed because hey it was fractionated liquid oil turned into this solid so I was still very impressed by the outcome for the unrefined I was shocked it was just like liquid 
I don't even know what to call this. What is this like? <laughs> Some kind of porridge or something? I don't know. It is super thin and liquidy and I just was not expecting that. You can even see where it looks like there's some separation. So I don't know if unrefined coconut oil may have some water in it somewhere i don't know it could be possible because uh i saw some separation which was very funny so i used my immersion blender to try to see if i can just blend this and force everything to kind of combine smoothly for the unrefined yeah it just wasn't working it's just liquid it was literally like milk so yeah i kind of gave up and i was like let me just pour it in a container and put it in a refrigerator and we're going to come back to it and see what happens then because yeah this is this is milk <laughs> all right so moving on to the fractionated coconut oil which was just a surprise to me like i i'm so shocked at how it started off and now it's super thick i'm using my immersion blender just to make sure everything is combining well and there are no there's no graininess in my body butter and look at that it's like this beautiful whipped buttery creamy goodness you guys I'm so obsessed with this look at this it's almost like a lotion lotion like texture which is kind of what I got when I made the avocado butter with the lipid thicks as well um, it does thicken up slightly but not by a lot it really does stay this really lotion like texture Fractionated coconut oil absorbs super fast in the skin. It is one of those oils that they call dry oils because it absorbs so fast in the skin. So just imagine a body butter that doesn't leave any greasy residue that absorbs fast and also has a lotion-like texture. That's what this is. You guys, I'm telling you, this is something worth trying. The only thing is really missing is the beautiful aroma of the unrefined coconut oil. If I had that in this body butter, it would be perfect. You wouldn't need anything else but probably some vitamin E and a little bit of fragrance, you know? So honestly, super simple, two ingredient body butter. I'm honestly here for it. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys did too. Leave a comment if you did, okay? Also, I wanted to go ahead and give you an update of the unrefined um, version. I put it in the refrigerator for maybe an hour or so and you can see how on the sides it's very, very hard. But in the middle, it is still basically liquid, you guys. It's just like unrefined oil it really is so at room temperature it's probably going to be solid and then once it heats up it's just going to be melted again i don't know this just didn't work but i'm definitely going to test it out again with a little bit more lipid thicks so stay tuned for a follow-up video where i will be testing out more lipid thicks to see if i can get more of a body butter texture in the meantime you guys make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell it's the only way you can keep up with the videos i'm coming out with i got some more coming up for you guys some more super easy basic simple formula so definitely make sure you stay tuned for that okay bye <laughs> Yeah.